I've been using the Sony A7 IV for like 8 months now and so far, so great. In fact, I don't think I'd ever let go of this camera. Unless of course it breaks or it stops working anymore. It is that good. I also tried a bunch of different accessories with it. And that's basically the main reason why I have a plethora of things in front of me right now. I just want to use that word, plethora. Anyway, but that's what we're going to talk about in this video. What for me are the best accessories for the Sony A7 IV. I'm not gonna make this long, let's roll the intro. Before anything else, I would like to officially welcome you to my channel. Thank you for making it past the intro. If you are into cameras, gadgets, technologies, all that good stuff, please do subscribe and hit that bell if you haven't yet. In that case, you won't miss out on anything from this channel. By the way, this video is not sponsored by anyone how I wish. But a huge shout out to all the brands that will be mentioned along the way for making awesome accessories for the Sony A7 IV. Having that out of the way, let's dive right into the topic. Accessory number one, the DTV mic D3 Pro. If you're doing vlogs or talking head videos just like this, I don't know about you but for me, it is almost like a requirement to have an on-camera shotgun microphone. And out of millions of options out there, the D3 Pro is in my opinion, one of the best. It has stepless gain knob and low cut filters for further customizations. But most importantly, it sounds incredibly clean and clear. Really, a very reliable tool for content creators. I don't think there's still a need for me to hype this microphone because it's proven and tested already by many creators out there. So yeah, good job DT. Accessory number two, the Rode Wireless Go. Just in case an on-camera shotgun microphone is not doing everything for you, which is kind of expected. Then you gotta have a wireless microphone system. And the wireless go is definitely the way to go. You like that? Wireless go, way to go. Right? Anyway, it sounds really amazing, not to mention how compact and how lightweight it is. I actually try different wireless microphones, but for some reason, I keep coming back with this. And just for your information, there's also a version 2 which has two transmitters. Well, of course, if I have that, that would be included in this list. Hello Rode, hello. Either way, my point is, Rode Wireless Go is one of the best accessories for Sony A7 IV. Accessory number 3, the Freewell Magnetic VND filters. These are practically lens filters used in a lot of different situations, especially if you always shoot outside or in broad daylight, because these are basically sunglasses for your lenses. So very quickly, what's inside the bag are the magnetic lens cap, the base ring, the VND base filter, the VND slash mist filter, the 6 to 9 stop ND slash circular polarizer, and the 2 to 5 stop ND slash circular polarizer. I'm not gonna discuss each as there are tons of reviews about it already. But thanks a lot, free will. Accessory number 4. The Ulanzi Xunoki Oreo System Tripod. For some reason, I love this tripod more than any other tripod that I've tried. Believe it or not, this is what I always bring whenever I go out. It has everything I need to film myself and whatsoever. Because besides being a reliable tripod, this is also what I use whenever I vlog. It feels super durable and at the same time, very compact. I already made a video about this. You can watch that after this video. Shameless plug. Accessory number 5. The Peak Design Slide Light Camera Strap Speaking of going out, having a strap is a must. And the Peak Design is by far my only recommendation. It's strong, it's aesthetically pleasing, and more importantly, it's quick release strap. So whenever I need to switch cameras, I can do so as easy as 1, 2, 3. How amazing is that? Accessory number 6, the Portkeys PT5 field monitor. At first I thought I would never need a field monitor because my cameras have screen display anyway, but I was wrong. When I got to use the PT5, my life has changed, like for real. It has accurate colors, more than enough brightness, etc. Overall, my workflow became a lot easier simply because I can monitor better. Thanks again, port keys. Accessory number 7, the Blue Shape NPF 970 
battery. Now that you have a field monitor, you would definitely need a battery or rather a reliable and capable battery. And I'm telling you, you need to check this one out. It's well built and it's powerful enough to keep you running for a long period of time, like a long period of time. Also, I love that it can be charged using a regular charging cable. Yes, just like a typical smartphone. In addition, it can also charge other devices such as my smartphone using this USB-A port right here, just like a power bank. You know what I'm saying? Nonetheless, how cool is that? Accessory number eight, the Ugreen 3.5 millimeter extension cable. I really had to include this because when I was writing my script for this video, I realized that out of many accessories that I have right now, this is something I have used most of the time. Especially when I'm not using this mic setup, I always reach out for this extension cable to connect my other condenser microphones such as the D3 Pro. Plus the fact that this is very affordable. Don't you worry, I will include a price list of everything towards the end of this video. So you better watch out. Accessory number 9, the Nightcore UFZ 100. I recently made a review video about this already. If you haven't seen it yet, you can watch that after this video. But nevertheless, my favorite feature of this is, this is a USB-C rechargeable battery. Yes, you heard it right. Just like the blue shape battery, this can be charged via regular USB-C cable. How convenient is that? Again, I already made a video about this. You can watch that after this video. Accessory number 10, the Falcom Sony A7 IV camera cage. This may look like just a regular camera cage, but it's not. It's actually packed of quick release mounting options. And when I say quick release, it definitely is a quick release system, like for real. Like say I got this handlebar right here. By the way, this is from Falcom 2. Let's say I want to use it with a cage. I can just slide it through like this. And that's it. It would lock itself nice and tight. And if I want to remove it, I can do so very quickly as well. Just like that. Really a must have accessory for the Sony A7 IV. But that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Those are my top accessories for the Sony A7 IV. Let me know yours in the comment section down below. Once again, a huge shout out to all the brands mentioned in this video. Please keep making awesome products for us content creators. But there you go, folks. I am sure I wasn't able to cover everything. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section or we can connect on Instagram or on Facebook. As I end, if you're getting value from this video, please do like and subscribe for more not super technical, but rather practical approach to gadgets and technologies until then thank you for watching maybe this is the best time to do a um, thumbnail okay I think that's good that's good that's good let's just move them here. Just move them here. Plethora of things. Okay.